for GBG! We have a special announcement for you guys. Check these out. Yes, finally guys, we have our merch out. So we've been putting it off for like years now and we actually made a bunch of like random kind of like prototype designs and whatnot. And we made we prototypes just, like, like four years ago. Like, we just way never... longer than yeah. that. Yeah. And we just like scrapped it and we were just like, eh, we don't really feel like it. But we finally committed. We made some merch and this is one of the designs that you guys can get. Yeah, new year, new designs, new merch. <laughs> so this is the like big logo that you guys can see, just right in the middle of the chest here. We also have another design where it's the same logo, but it's a little bit more minimalist. It's a little bit smaller and it's just placed on the left side of your chest. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking for merch, so here you go. If you guys want to rock it, go check out our Teespring store or the links in the video description below. You guys can also see it on the merch shelf just underneath this video. Yeah, tell us what you guys think of this design. Um, you know, currently there's only a couple of items, but maybe we'll keep on expanding uh, based on your guys' feedback. Alright guys, yeah, so go ahead and check it out. And if you guys happen to purchase, we just want to thank you for supporting the channel. But yeah, let's get to unboxing. Back to the regular programming. OMG BBG! What up BBGs? We're back with another super special unboxing. Uh, we're really hyped up about this one. Here we have the Beyblade 2020 Anniversary Set. So, like some of the previous bays that you've seen before that come in a set like this, these are Metal Fight Beyblades that have been remade into Beyblade Burst format. So these bays are from Beyblade Metal Masters, which is a series that came out in 2010. And wow, honestly, we're actually super hyped about this set because this is probably our favorite generation or favorite season of the Metal Fight series. Uh, for me anyways. So you get Galaxy Pegasus, you get here was it Ray Unicorno, we have Gravity Perseus, Meteor El Drago, and uh, Hell Kerpex. So wow guys, I have we haven't said those names in like forever too. Yeah, we basically started our channel when we were watching like Metal Fusion slash Metal Masters back in the day. Yeah, I still remember going to stores and seeing uh, the original Storm Pegasus. Man, unreal. Just crazy times. Like, wow, time flies. Yeah. And now they've been remade into like the new format. It's crazy. actually been over 10 years already. So let's not stall any longer. Let's actually open it up and show you guys the goods. Man, more details in here. Of course, like you'll know about the parts and everything like that. So let's go. Yeah, season two remastered Ooh. base. Wow, fancy box, right? Another label saying that it's the like sixth anniversary for Beyblade Burst, and then yeah, all the symbols down here once again. Wow, super guys, super shiny. Like we're really hyped up about this. We hope that you guys are as well. Let's take a look. Man, the metal Sega, it's so incredible. Oh, wow, artwork from Metal Masters. Yeah, so that's the original artwork from Takafumi Adachi, who is like the manga artist. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, check out the bays. We also get two launchers as well. Wow, Galaxy Pegasus looking slick. Uh, and actually, the Hell, Hell Kerpex with all the gold looks really good too. They all look so good. Man, Yo, El Drago. So crazy. Can't wait to test this the guy out. OG Spin Stealer, man. It's like when they actually brought spin stealing into like the anime. It's like the Fafnir yeah. of that generation. Yeah, like that's when they really emphasized on spin stealing. Shit. So sick. Yeah, two long launchers. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's more details on the back of the box, so I'm gonna flip it over and you guys can see what parts come with the base. Yeah, it's actually so sick that they're paying tribute to the Metal Sega. Yeah, that original set that came with Storm Pegasus and Rock Leon was pretty sick already, but this one definitely takes the cake. So at the top of the box here, you guys can see that it talks about the anime a little bit. You guys can see frames from the actual show itself. There's like Ryuga, you know, Julia, all these characters there. But yeah, I mean, it was honestly just such good times, guys. If you guys are into like more fantasy, like Beyblade action, then Metal Fight is definitely where it's at, where you can see the bays basically blow things up and stuff. Yep, 2010 was basically when the Metal Masters, uh, the Metal Sega season two began. And that's also when we got this wave of uh, products. Yeah, the Japanese ones, the original Takeratomi ones. And uh, I still remember in North America, like they were lagging behind, of course, and like they were still selling Storm Pegasus and Rock Leo and all those other bays in their stores. But uh, there were no changes at the time. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Hasbro definitely like kept everything pretty similar to the Japanese counterpart back in the day. So let's start here with Galaxy Pegasus. You guys will see right off the bat that they brought back this really cool piece called the Clear Wheel. But in that set from Storm Pegasus and Rock Leon, 
they actually didn't bring the clear wheel back. It was just fused together in one part. So now they actually separated it. Yeah, definitely way more intricate. It's actually funny that we have to tell you guys what the clear wheel is because a lot of you guys actually started off Beyblade with the Beyblade Burst products. So a lot of you guys actually don't even know what this Metal Sega is all about. Exactly. Jenga's Bay, uh, the evolution for Metal Masters, really sick attack type. The next bay we have here is Ray Unicornal, owned by Masamune. So this was like a kind of like sidekick character that was introduced in um, Metal Masters. And it was kind of like a Pegasus wannabe almost. <laughs> Except the, the basically the character, the avatar, was a unicorn instead of a Pegasus. So it was pretty funny when he was first introduced. A lot of history with this bay. Yeah, basically the Unite driver copied the CS driver from back in the day. Next up we have Gravity Perseus. So this bay was really iconic too because it was a dual spin bay and it like first introduced the dual spin launchers. So yeah, super crazy. So this set also includes like a remastered version of that launcher, the LR launcher back in the day, uh, in a similar colorway. Next up is Medio El Drago, like Spin Steel King here. Or is Fafnir the Spin Steel King now? It's when they started first emphasizing spin stealing in Metal Fight. We also come with the matching Long Bay Launcher L. Last but not least, we have Hell Kerpex. So wow, super big bay. And yeah, this was pretty much like the main bad guy in uh, Metal Masters. So yeah, super crazy for this bay to come back to. Yeah, man, I remember back in the day when this uh, was released, the BD-145 track yeah. was like super OP. Basically, like everyone used that track back in the day, I feel. Yeah, nowadays everyone's like, yo, what's a track, bro? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, but it was like this big uh, plastic plate back then you could flip. Oh, so crazy. So yeah, we're really dating ourselves here, guys. But anyways, let's actually open it up and show you guys the details. Every time we unbox these sets, it's like, oh my god. Yeah. They look so good. Honestly, they're like investments. These sets are amazing. Oh, they look so good. And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't even open them, keep yeah. them in their collection, you know, but... Of course, we uh, have multiples. We got a battle, man. If you guys are interested in uh, these Beyblade investments, maybe we'll make a video on that later on. Tell us in the comment section below if you guys are interested. The set also comes with some stickers, but since everything is already painted onto the uh, parts, we're just gonna skip this. Which one is your favorite, guys? Wow, they all look so beautiful. Dude, they look so perfect. I can't believe we have to battle with these and ruin them. <laughs> <laughs> All good, we do have multiple sets of these, so this one will just be like for the battling purposes. So let's start off with Galaxy Pegasus here, guys. The main character of the show, well, for this season anyways. So, Jenga's Bay, the deep blue color of the metal wheel looks really good. It's iconic. It looks so much like the original. Don't be fooled though, all of the metal wheels are not metal. It's plastic. Yeah, they're called metal wheel. Yeah, because that's what it was called in the original, and they were actually metal at the time. But yeah, so the new addition to these remakes is the clear wheel. Um, you guys may have noticed from the original Storm Pegasus, the top piece, the layer, was kind of built all in one. Now you guys can pop off the clear wheel like you would a GT chip. You just push from the back and it pops right off and that's kind of like the top piece that keeps everything together. Yeah, you might be wondering like why they would do that, like what's the purpose of it? Because they could just save some money and make it all in one. but. Just like, that extra effort is just really cool. Yeah, the face bolt is integrated into the clear wheel. Um, they were separate parts in the original Metal Fight series, but they, I guess, they still have to make it a burst bay, right? So it makes the most sense making it a clear wheel and face bolt in one. But essentially, if you flip the clear wheel upside down, this is where you'll see the teeth of the bay. So Galaxy Pegasus is a right spin bay, and you can see here that the metal wheel here is pretty aggressive has uh, a lot of wings and bumps and stuff, so it looks really good. The disc and frame combo, the five glaive, it's very meh in my opinion. Nothing too special. Um, the jolt dash driver that it comes with is similar to the one that came with the original, the R squared F performance tip. It's a rubber tip, it is a star shape, but the pattern of the star is going in the opposite direction compared to the original Metal Fight one. All right, so the second one, let's move on to Ray Striker, or I guess it's called Ray Unicorno. Yeah, they stopped on some pretty normal Beyblade Burst parts on there. The cool thing is the Unite Driver, because that's basically the CS tip back in the day. And it's funny that they put the proof frame on it, because I remember the track for this bay also had the uh, like round disc around it. So yeah, they, they tried really hard to make it look exactly like the old one too. And then the next one is Gravity Perseus. 
or Gravity um, Destroyer, that's like the English name for it. So since this bay does come with an LR launcher, naturally this bay is dual spin. And similar to Spriggan bays, if you flip the clear wheel over to expose the teeth, you can actually twist it and then yeah, you can change your spin that way. You can flip the uh, clear wheel to kind of expose the three red dots and then you can change modes that way too. So one mode is exposing the dots, one is um, blocking the dots. Yeah, so it was more of like an attack mode type of thing. But yeah, really sick bay. Man, when it brought LR to the game, it was like, oh my god, you guys, game changer. Yeah, just like Takeru Tomi went above and beyond and like redesigned all these parts just for this anniversary set. It's just so cool. Next up, Medio Odrego. So yeah, wow, the original Spin Steel King. And it does have rubber on the clear wheel as well. So I'm really glad that they kept the rubber on here so we can actually try and spin steel with it. Uh, it's really sick because you can actually rotate the clear wheel on this as well and you'll get different attributes too. So it has like an attack mode versus like an absorb mode. Comes with the seven disc and vortex frame. So pretty standard stuff, nothing crazy there. And it comes with spiral dash. And yeah, spiral dash is pretty much just like the uh, original driver that was in the uh, original Meteor El Drago. And since El Drago is a left spin only bay, they did include for us this redesigned left long launcher that has also the El Drago design on the launcher. And last bay here we have is Hellkerpex. And wow, yeah, like we were saying earlier, the gold looks really, really good. Um, but dang, this bay looks like extra big too. So the crazy ability with this one back in the day was that you could flip the track and then you would get like this massive gap uh, that you know would produce some crazy recoil. And now they don't really have like a flippable gimmick or anything like that, but this does have a huge gap underneath the metal wheel. So this comes with a zero and the lift frame with the Mobius driver. Yep, so those are the remakes. What do you guys think? We have them all laid out here. The remakes are definitely way bigger in Beyblade Burst forms. Yeah, it's crazy to think that we used to battle with such small bays before. Okay, let's do some test battles with our new bays. I feel really bad for damaging these. Uh, so I sad. don't. <laughs> After the first round, they're gonna lose some paint for sure. It's all good. So yeah, I, I'm gonna use uh, Meteor Drago. Wow, classic matchup. Galaxy Pegasus. Right, right. Ooh. Three, Three, two, one. one. Oh, two quick strikes. Man, they fall apart so easily though. Three, two, one, two. Ooh, burst. But burst is like so easy with these guys. True. Bring in the unicorn though. Okay, I guess I'll use Galaxy Pegasus. Pegasus versus a unicorn. Three, Three two, one, two. One, two. Another classic matchup, man. This is so sick. Seeing these bays back. Unite Dash with that better stamina. Yeah, performance wise, pretty similar, but I would say it's still not the same as like actually using metal fight bays though. You don't get that actual metal to metal action. Gonna try out Hell Kerpex. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, these colors. Yeah, so nostalgic. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh, Mobius is so fast. I'm gonna switch into Gravity Perseus. Three, Three two, two, one. Two. Wow. Okay, that sounded really intense. Three, Three two, two, one. Two. Oh, perfect. So big. So loud. You're not supposed to be moving like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go. Yo, these two yeah. were epic in anime. Yeah, they really were. <laughs> Gravity Perseus is too scared right now. Oh, well, look at this. Well, what's gonna happen? I lost pretty much like all my spin already. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. Three, Three two, one, two. One. Wow, they were like outside the circle. Oh, oh no, that burst was so weird. No. 
They don't really like burst and explode apart. They kind of just like fall apart. Okay, BBGs, that is it for our unboxing on this Beyblade 2020 anniversary set. All five of these bays are honestly so sick. They look so good. Um, which one is your favorite? Let us know. Or maybe you guys don't like them at all because you're not a fan of the Metal Flight series? I don't know. Yeah, Tell this, us. this video probably has no views because everyone wants <laughs> burst uh, stuff. Like, we definitely wanted to buy this set though because it just brought back like so many good memories for us. Uh, but yeah, they look really high quality too. So if you do have the opportunity to buy it, even if you're not a fan of the Metal Fight series, it's probably a good investment. It's probably going to be, you know, sold out. Well, it already is pretty much. And it'll be worth more later on too. Uh, but yeah, they're just really nice to look at. Yeah, honestly, this was like such a fun unboxing for me. So just good. seeing all the parts come back like legit, this. Legit. So nostalgic. For real. All right, guys, like this video, subscribe, and as always, geek out. out.